Hi guys, today I'm going to um, talk about using carbon steel for food preparation. This is 012 steel, um, but at the end of the day, it's still carbon steel. And um, you know, carbon steels need to be seasoned when um, using your knife. So um, before before I begin cutting um, orange, which is an uh, which is a very acidic uh, food or fruit in this case. Um, First, first of all, before you use your carbon steel, you rinse it with water, okay? So, after rinsing it with water, um, this is to remove any excess patina on the, um, uh, uh, the blade's uh, body, okay? So, the next thing is to season the edge. So, what you do, okay, is... You know, slice through something okay that is to season the edge this will remove you know one draw would do okay this is to remove um, excess patina on the very edge so now once you begin your cutting okay, you will um, just keep using your blade okay and as a result you are not going to um, uh, you know, have much more oxidation on the blade because you are consist you are constantly cutting with it, all right. So oxidation does not have time to form as you uh, keep doing your cutting. So, um, as you use your blade. Um, once you're finished using it, um, if you leave it with the acidic juices on the carbon steel, it will gradually, um, uh, um, you know, uh, begin to uh, uh, corrode the knife, and um, the acidic juices on the blade will start to um, have a, a metallic taste so um, when you rest your blade um, you know when you just leave your blade um, without uh, any more cutting leave it for some time and then go back to cutting you're gonna have um, acidic juices with metallic taste on um, the blade and the blade itself is going to have some metallic um, tang to it. So what you're going to do is that you have to re-season um, your knife. Okay. What you do is, assuming this has been left for a while, okay. So um, just wipe it down again, okay. As you can see, as I wipe off the juices on the carbon steel onto the um, uh, tissue I can already see that you know the uh, juice is slightly uh, dark and definitely has a, a metallic smell so this just goes to show that I need to wipe down okay uh, preferably on a damp cloth okay so this would remove the excess um, uh, metallic uh, taste on the uh, height of the uh, the main body of the blade and then what I do next is that I would have to season the edge of the blade again so what I can do is just to uh, you know to just draw the blade through um, uh, something okay and that would remove and season the Edge and I can just keep cutting again. Okay, um, I did this video because um, you know in this day and age, not many people actually um, use uh, carbon steel in the kitchen anymore. Uh, so um, they do not know how to. They may not know uh, as like myself. Okay, um, we are not. Uh, we do not know how to use um, 
carbon steel in the kitchen anymore, even though for, um, you know, uh, much of human history so far, um, carbon steel has been the um, uh, main metal um, for kitchen cutlery. So, um, this is how to use it, and um, of course, um, being a, a, a beginner, you know, in in using carbon steel um, for food preparation, because I myself I've used uh, stainless steel um, in the kitchen for most of my life as well. So um, today's um, information uh, comes from Kylie Harris of CKC Knives the maker of this custom knife and uh, uh, his YouTube nick is Knives and Stuff so um, I must give him credit because the things that I say today um, and I practice are basically um, from him okay and uh, so I've also done some uh, research on the internet and um, what he says um, does match up as well and um, so uh, and uh, one thing is that when you are using your carbon steel um, you know when I got this knife it was um, much shinier okay and uh, now it has a patina on it sort of like a, a, a bit of a bluish gray um, and uh, slightly yellowish sometimes okay so these are not rust yet okay this are that's a patina okay there is one internet article that calls this um, black patina basically uh, this patina or coating is good for your carbon steel knife okay and uh, so do not polish this away Okay, keep it here because it protects your your um, carbon steel and um, it uh, lessens the um, uh, taste you know metallic taste that is going to be imparted to your food um, just take note that you know this the edge is the part of the blade once you have um, a good patina on Okay, the body of the blade. Uh, it is the edge of the blade. That's where you are doing your. Um, that's where you cut through things most often, and then you also sharpen your knife edge. Remember, taking away the patina or protection. So um, this is the part of the blade that you have to remember to season, especially. All right. So um, just remember. Okay, when. Uh, I'll just repeat before you start using your um, carbon steel uh, knife for uh, food preparation just rinse it with water right then that is to wash off the excess patina on the um, blades body and then before you um, uh, carry on cutting just uh, draw your uh, blade edge through something okay that is to remove the excess patina on the edge of the knife then you um, proceed to do your cutting and slicing and um, when you stop the uh, cutting and slicing for an extended period of time leaving your knife you know with the juices and moisture you know what have you on it when you pick it up when you pick up the knife again to use to slice cut food okay um, just you know uh, wipe it off first on a damp cloth preferably okay this is to remove the um, you know the uh, metallic uh, tasting uh, juices you know on your knife as well as remove the excess patina on your uh, knife and then as usual um, just 
draw it through, draw the cutting edge through something, okay. Um, just slice, just do one slice through, okay, and uh, that would remove the excess um, patina on the edge of the knife. So then your knife uh, is completely seasoned again, and then you can just continue uh, cutting it, using it for cutting and slicing, all right. So this is how to, um, uh, you know, use your carbon steel knife for food preparation, and then after using a knife, when you when you have no more use, for, no more need for it, okay, for the session, just remember to um, wipe it down, dry it. Uh, I mean, just you know, wash it off and then uh, wipe it dry and. Uh, Place it somewhere, dry. Okay, that's how to um, actually uh, uh, use and maintain your carbon steel knives. As you can see now, there is a nice natural patina on it. Okay, and as I use it um, more and more, there's going to be a you know a better, a tougher and tougher patina on the blade. And uh, it's quite a, it's quite nice actually, you know, this natural patina. So thanks so much for watching. Um, hope uh, I have um, given some uh, useful information uh, to the to you viewers. Um, have a good day. Check out the channel. For more, there are other videos about knives on it. Thank you very much for watching. See you. Bye-bye.